This was at the time of accident. This was a press conference chaired by Andrew Saris. Pinter yeah. and Losey are in New York promoting this movie. movie. This is a press conference mostly for college students and college young people. And it's chaired by Andrew Saris. And Ross Whetstone writes about it in The Village Voice. I'd like to hear your explanation of the accident at the end of the movie. One of the student editors asked Pinter. I'd like to hear yours, Pinter replied. When someone asked if perhaps the relevance of the movie could be fully understood only by an English audience, Pinter reportedly blew his nose, pocketed his handkerchief, and said, what do you mean by relevance? The questioner, the questioner offered message instead. Message? The same fate befell significance. Andrew Saris commented that everyone had been asking what the homecoming meant. I'd understand questions about meaning, Pinter replied, if I knew what the word meaning meant. <laughs> He's just and being a jerk. He was <laughs> playing <laughs> with them. Oh, I know, but <laughs> go okay. on. Go on but there's, there's a wholesome play and not a wholesome play. <laughs> and later, I have no explanation for anything I do at all. <laughs> By nature explicatory, Losey nevertheless joined in the Trappist ritual. Was there any social comment implicit in the large quantities of alcohol consumed in the movie? I don't know what you mean by social comment. <laughs> <laughs> to this, Pinter added, people just had bottles around and drunk out of them. Asked if he edited his own films, Losey replied, it depends what you mean by edit. <laughs> <laughs> well, did he make the final cuts himself? It still depends on what you mean. <laughs> the critic John Simon <laughs> accused the pair of insulting their audience and asked Pinter if he was aiming to do away with words altogether. This got a reply. I love words. I, I just try to use them selectively. Simon then pointed to some factual errors about Oxford in the film and spoke of the sublime disregard for reality that pervades the entire film. <laughs> After the meeting, he announced, I've seldom seen two such consummate phonies on one <laughs> stage at one time. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, John Simon. Thank you, John. <laughs>